Good morning guys. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the bearings on your trailer. This is applicable to any axles up to 8,000 pounds single wheel axles. So unless you have a dual tandem trailer, this will work for you. So if you're not on concrete, you might want to get yourself something to lay down here, a sheet of plywood or some scrap or a cardboard box or something just to keep your tools and stuff off the ground because you don't want to be getting any dirt or sand in the grease in this bearing. So you can do that, it'll help. If not, just use extra caution. So here's the tools you'll need. You need a flathead screwdriver, hammer, channel locks, some needle nose pliers, some wheel bearing grease, which will usually be your high temperature red. You want some disposable gloves. You'll need your oil seal. It goes on the back. Uh, these bearing races are good to have. You may not need to replace them. I'll show you what to look for. And then of course, your new bearings. You'll have a smaller outside bearing and a larger inside bearing. That's all you'll need. So once you get your tire off, you'll either have something like this, a bearing buddy, or you'll have just a regular old style cap. Now I'll, I'll show you how to take each of those off. So if you just have a cap, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. You'll start, and just tap and try to get behind the lip. At this point, you'll just take a screwdriver and turn it sideways to continue to remove this cap. Yep, broke the seal. There it is. At this point, you're ready to go ahead and clean this up, take the cotter pin out, and remove the castle nut. Now, since I've already redone this, I've already packed this bearing, I'll show you how to take off the bearing buddy. But, at the end of the job, you just tap this into place and use your flathead around the lip to set it back in. Go. That's all there is to it on a regular bearing grease cover. All right, so now that you're down here, you got the tire off, to check for play in your bearings, all you'll do is you'll grab the sides of your drum, or if you don't have a drum, you'll just have the hub, and you'll twist it back and forth like this, or side to side. You hear all that play that's in there. It's not a lot of play, but it is some. And then you'll do the same thing top to bottom. You see all the play that's in here? See how much that drum is moving? So when you're going down the road at speed and this thing's going in and out, in and out like that, it's not good. Now, if you're so lucky as to have a bearing buddy, it's a slightly different procedure to remove it. We'll take our cap off your hammer side to side. That's how you remove your bearing buddy. All right, so now that you have either your grease cap or your bearing buddy removed, clean up some of this grease so you can see the castle nut and the cotter pin. Now I'm going to be replacing my cotter pins, so I'll probably just cut this off as short as I can. Cotter pins don't usually want to cooperate, so you just have to force them one way or another. There's our cotter pin. Throw that away. Now, see how loose that is? This thing really could have been adjusted in to help reduce that play. But I want to go ahead and replace these bearings and show you how to do that as well. So we'll remove this castle nut, just spin it counterclockwise, lefty-loosey, until it comes off. Wipe some of that grease off of there, because we're going to be repacking this with new grease. You don't want any of that old grease contaminating your new grease. Castle nut. Alright, so now pull the hub out until this first bearing comes loose like this. I want to take out this washer. Be aware of the orientation that it came out. It's going to go in like that. If it's got a little bow to it, the bow is going to face into the bearing because you only want to contact the inside surface. After that, you want it to come away from the bearing so it's not rubbing on the rotating surface. 
So my bearing buddy did not actually come all the way out, which is interesting. So I'm going to have to try to remove the rest of this bearing buddy real quick. All right, so I actually had to bring this in the shop because this bearing buddy is supposed to be one piece. This isn't supposed to just come off like that. This whole ring here is supposed to come off and it was stuck in there. So I had to take a, a drift and beat it out with this lift that it has in here. Um, you want to see that? I'll uh, tag a link to it at the end of this video. Uh, it'll be in the same playlist for trailer and axle repair. But moving right along. All right, so now that we have the castle nut and the washer out, we will pull this out a little bit. We'll be able to get this bearing out. It doesn't always just fall out. Next, we'll grab the drum, or if you just have the hub, grab that. Pull it all the way out, and you'll see, apparently my grease seal right here uh, was not doing a very good job, because there's grease all over all this stuff. So we're gonna have to remedy that here in a little while. But first, we need to remove this bearing and this grease seal. So, one easy trick of the trade, just thread your castle nut back on like such. We'll set this back over it and we'll use that castle nut like a hammer. Rotate, a few more good pulls. There we have it. Now we can remove this old bearing. It's got a little bit of play in it. See there, not bad. See this bit, a little bit. Nothing real abnormal there. Oh, here it is. This is the spring that goes around the inside of this grease seal. Apparently it was rather broken. So, throw all that away. Now all you gotta do is clean everything up real good. Which is gonna be a bit of a job on this one because there's so much grease. So I've got some paint thinner here and a brush. It's much cheaper than a brake cleaner in the can. You can get a gallon of this stuff for 10 bucks. You just need about a cup to do a job like this. All right, now we got the brakes and the backing plate all cleaned up and we got the inside of this drum cleaned up. Now we're going to remove most of the grease from inside the hub. All right, so at this point, you need to inspect your races, your bearing race. It's this piece right here. Not this piece, not that piece. It's this nice piece right here with a real smooth surface. If this surface is not super smooth, you need to replace it. And the way that you do that, um, this actually has a lip on the back side, so it'd be real hard to get in there, but you're supposed to be able to take a screwdriver from the back and beat it here around this lip and push it straight up out. Um, another thing you can do is maybe cut it and then fold it in and get it out. Getting it out is the tricky part. Um, if you're not real confident in that, bring it to a mechanic shop. They'll probably charge you 15, 20 bucks to uh, swap out your bearing races and it is worth every penny. All right, so let's keep the front of the hub nice and clean when we flip it over. Now, once again, we'll inspect our bearing race here. It's in good shape. If it's not, if it's got scoring on it or anything else that is less than perfect, you need to replace it. And to replace this one is actually kind of easy. You can feel that there's a lip underneath here. Once again, you'll just take your screwdriver from, you know, from the other side up underneath here and beat it out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is put on some fresh, clean gloves, get your large bearing, make sure it's nice and clean and ready to go. And uh, we're gonna start greasing it up. Ready to install the grease seal so this open side where you can see the spring that's gonna go face down into the hub also it can help to grease up the outside of this now we'll go around and tap this seal into place I 
I like to get mine a little bit less than flush, wipe off the excess grease on the outside. That'll help the dirt from accumulating on it. Make sure you don't have any grease on the inside of your drum anywhere. If you have brakes, this surface here is very important. If it's not clean and smooth, your electric brakes are not going to work very well. Because that's where your magnet attaches to, which causes your brake pads, your brake shoes to expand. Now we'll flip the hub or the drum over. Take a little bit of grease, grease up the inside here, and get your outside bearing, which is going to be your smaller one. The tapered side goes down first, that's the smaller side goes down first. Push that in. All right. Make sure you got plenty of grease packed around in there. Now that we have our new bearings in, we need to do our final inspection of the spindle. We need to make sure that our bearing surface here, our bearing surface here, are smooth and also the surface that the seal rides on. You might be able to see right here, there's a little nick. So I'm going to file that down just a little bit because that can actually damage our grease seal and allow grease to get back here again. And we do not want that. Be sure to wipe all the metal shavings off of the area. See our repair is successful, it's nice and smooth now. I'm going to take some grease and grease up the spindle. And now we're ready to put the hub or drum back on. Next we'll take our washer, make sure that the convex side here, the side that bows out, is facing in towards the bearing. Now we're ready for our castle nut, which we need to make sure is nice and clean. And we'll go ahead and thread this on by hand. So now that it's hand tight, we'll take our channel locks and tighten it up some more. Tighten it up again. Make sure that the bearing is seated. Now the hub is locked up. It means that everything's real tight. So at this point, we're going to loosen this nut a quarter turn. This should spin two revolutions pretty easily. Check it again to make sure that bearing is seated. Tight. Quarter turn. Hold this nut in place. And spin. Check for play, top and bottom, and side to side. It's nice and snug. All right, so now we are ready to install our cotter pin. There we go. Cotter pin is installed. Go ahead and put another dab of grease on all of this. Now we are ready to reinstall our bearing buddy or grease cap, whichever you have. Simply set it in there and drive it in with a hammer. all the way in. Now simply replace your bearing buddy protective cover and you're ready to reinstall your wheel. Well thanks for watching. I hope this was informative to you. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you like our content and our channel please subscribe and as always dude we can fix it.